All right, guys, we're getting ready to fire this up, okay? Um, everything is hooked up the right way. I just want to show you one thing while I'm right here. I told you about that uh, clearance of the belt, okay? I got uh, almost an inch clearance now, okay? And what I also did, a little bit of a safety thing, was see this bracket where my finger is? I made the, uh, I used an L piece of bracket, so it almost acts as a guide for the belt. So even if the belt comes loose, it will stop it from going down any further uh, and uh, hopefully um, keep it from flopping over. Just a little obsessed about that, uh, what I seen with that wire and the distributor being hit by the belt of the old uh, generator. So, at any rate, we're all set here, we're ready to go. Um, we got it tight. I can't turn this by hand. The rocket, but I can't turn it. I believe that's the way it should be. Got about a half inch, a little more than a half inch of play on the push down. So. Just running through my head if I'm forgetting anything else. I don't believe so. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's fully charged, 1267. 1267 on the uh, meter. Okay, let's see what we got on the voltmeter here. She, she goes up to 13. Up to almost 13. I just took it off the charger. She's she's fully charged this battery. So um, all right, let's get the gas on. A little bit of throttle, a little bit of choke. Used to the coil. Light on. Get juice going to the. Um, Alternator. Okay, moment of truth or consequences. Uh, let's watch that meter here. Better yet, watch the light. That light's got to go out almost instantaneous. Maybe two, three seconds. Finally, finally, we got this damn thing straightened out. My goodness gracious. Uh, real strange, funny thing happened with this light. All right, um, I wired the light up where I'm supposed to, and uh, I, I wired into the uh, juice wire for the coil. No problem. Put the switch on for the coil, started the tractor, everything was great. Want to shut the tractor off, the tractor wouldn't shut off. And the light on the dashboard wouldn't shut off. So that juice was still flowing. Um, when I shut the switch, I mean, the tractor was still running. Shut the switch, light stayed on, the tractor stayed running. Okay, I, I had to uh, stall it with the, uh, with the choke. For some reason, juice continues to run uh, with the switch. So I put a separate switch for it. A little baffling. I don't understand it. And you know what? I really don't give a darn. Um, works fine for me. The two switches there. Up is on, down is off. That's perfectly fine. So, uh, I want to give a couple of shout outs here. A couple of guys that really helped me with this. First off, uh, Rocker Pat. Appreciate what you did helping me with that first alternator. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out. That piece of crap. Uh, just didn't cut it. So, 
And um, I also want to thank uh, another tuber who helped me out, uh, Jerris Barnett. Jerris Barnett, uh, he has a video up about these three wire alternators. It is great. It's got a beautiful shop, beautiful setup, uh, bench testing these things. It's, it's just incredible. Really, really nice. Very easy to follow, easy to understand. Uh, I watched this video like three times. Come out here, wired this up, boom, I was done. Just great. Just great. Uh, so, uh, thank you there, Mr. Barnett, and um, Rocker Pat, and everybody else that helped me out with this whole project from the beginning to end. Um, strangest thing, how that alternator, the other first alternator, Advanced Auto said it was good, but it was not good. Would not work, no matter what the hell I did, so... I might just take it to a alternator place and have it tested, but whatever the case may be, I got this one here now, and uh, she's working great. Um, I also hooked up a uh, an hour meter. It's electric. Okay, I actually don't have a wire yet. Hour meter. So when I'm all finished with all the maintenance on this, I can turn that on and start my hour uh, maintenance uh, clock. And now that I have the 12 volt, I'm putting lights on the fenders. Going to be uh, flashing lights as I do with my other tractors. And uh, the main reason why I wanted the alternator, the most important thing I really wanted, this is my uh, my wood hauling tractor now. Okay, this is my this is my absolute number one working girl. And on that hitch in the back there, on that flat plate there, I'm going to be mounting a 12 volt winch. It's a 12 volt winch to pull logs out of the woods. So uh, that's going to be all wired up, and um, that's going to be great. So uh, this old girl is uh, seriously coming out of retirement, and she is uh, going back to work. She has been already, but she's <laughs> she's going to be doing a lot more work. So i got to go over it from front to back. Still have not changed the fluids and the hydraulics and the tranny. That's the next thing I want to do. And i got to put a new pair of valve cover uh, gaskets on. She's leaking a little oil. But other than that, speaking of leaking, I better shut that gas. Other than that, fellas, uh, really happy with this alternator deal. Uh, again, uh, Rocker Pat and uh, Mr. Barnett, you two guys really uh, went the extra mile and bailed me out. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, that's what it's all about, man, helping other people with the same hobby and uh, keeping the tractors running. All right, fellas, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps somebody else out in the future. Book them, Daniel.